want to thank God first and foremost for just blessing me like this. Um, my beautiful family, um, my two beautiful boys for inspiring me every day, and um, my fans, this is for you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most memorable MTV VMA moment of each year from 2000 to 2009. This is really amazing. I can't believe it. Okay, what are you talking about? Look at this. This is amazing. Who was that guy? I think six is the new soy bomb. For this list, we'll be looking at the most astounding things that happened at the VMAs during the aughts. Which moment shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. 2000, Eminem and his Army of Slim Shadies, 17th MTV Video Music Awards. May we have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I repeat, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? No, seriously, we can't find him in the crowd of lookalikes. The 2000s were a simpler time, and that's also true for award shows. What performances lacked in refinement, they made up for in energy and shock value. No one knew what Eminem had in store for his performance, so when he opened on 6th Avenue with a lineup of what seemed like a hundred versions of himself, all with bleached hair and white tees, the crowd didn't know what to make of it. The message is pretty clear. There are tons of people out there like Eminem, but only one that's the real deal. Cause I'm Slim Shady, yes I'm the real Shady, all you other Slim Shadies are just in my teddy, so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. 2001, Spears' Slithering Spectacle, 18th MTV Video Music Awards. If you're scared of snakes, we'll give you the warning now. How Britney performed this without missing a single note is beyond us. The song begins with the starlet locked in a cage with a literal tiger. She frees herself, puts on a downright enchanting performance for the next two minutes, and then approaches one of the dancers with a live snake on her shoulders. They transfer the python onto Britney's shoulders, where she parades it around the stage for a while. Her voice does not wobble. Not once. We're not claiming Britney is a snake charmer, but she's a snake charmer. Did we mention she was only 19 at the time? 2002, the Artist of the Millennium Award, 19th MTV Video Music Awards. The VMAs are always special for artists, but the 2002 VMAs were, in particular, pretty special for Michael Jackson because it also happened to be his 44th birthday. The award show decided to celebrate and had Britney Spears present a cleft-shaped trophy and a giant birthday cake. In her birthday wishes speech, she referred to him as someone she thought of as the artist of the millennium. He's a true innovator who pioneered the art of music video, broke down countless barriers, and sold more records than any other artist along the way. So happy birthday, my friend, the King of Pop. You can see how this might be misinterpreted by the King of Pop, who walked on stage and accepted what he believed was a new award, the artist of the millennium. When I was a little boy in Indiana, if someone had told me if someone had told me that one day I would be getting, as a musician, um, the Artist of the Millennium Award, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> Honestly, if he really had won an award under that name, there aren't a lot of people who would bat an eye. Certainly a birthday to remember. And all the fans around the world, I love you. God bless you. Thank you. 2003, The Kiss. You know the one. 20th MTV Video Music Awards. There might not be a more iconic VMA performance. As an homage to Madonna's performance at the first VMAs, the song now featured three of pop's biggest names. Britney Spears began the opening lyrics to Like a Virgin in a wedding dress atop a giant wedding cake. Christina Aguilera walked on soon after in a wedding dress of her own, and it wasn't long before the queen of pop herself made it on, this time in a tuxedo. Just when you thought things couldn't possibly get more epic, Madonna leaned over and planted a passionate kiss on Britney's lips before doing the same to Christina. They like the smell of it in Hollywood. How could it hurt you when it looks so good? 
Cue JT's face again. Yeah, he was not happy. 2004, Tony Hawk's Skateboarding Stunts, 21st MTV Video Music Awards. The 2004 VMAs were the first to include video game soundtracks as a category, the likes of which, to no one's surprise, were won by Tony Hawk's Underground. Skateboards and let me hear. Later in the night, Ashley Simpson and the skateboarder himself presented the award for Best New Artist, but not without a little pizzazz. Wow! It is so cool to be here! This set is amazing! No, it's okay. Tony felt the stage was missing something, and on cue, it lit up yellow and black for a group of skaters who took to the ramps. Seriously, they set up the ramps and everything. Of course, the show wouldn't be complete without the legendary Tony Hawk shredding things up. And the crowd went totally wild, dude. Give it up for Tony Hawk! 2005, Kelly Clarkson's Rainstorm, 22nd MTV Video Music Awards. Here's a performance that really makes you miss pre-COVID days. A barefoot Kelly Clarkson makes her way through a sea of fans to center stage, high-fiving hands the whole way. Towards the end, 3,000 gallons of water pour down on her and the audience, kicking up the drama of a song that should be impossible to add more to. <laughs> Luckily, this was before the days of recording with your phone, so it was actually feasible. The energy she puts into this song is unmatched, and you can tell she's really connecting with her fans. We're torn between deeming this performance thunderous or jaw-dropping. Panic on the Award Stage, 23rd MTV Video Music Awards. Let us set the scene for you. It's 2006, low-rise jeans are still in, and She's the Man just came out. Okay, th this is freaking me out. You're watching the VMAs, and Jennifer Lopez announces Panic at the Disco as the winners of the award for Video of the Year. This was still pretty early on in the band's career, and they somehow beat out Christina Aguilera, Madonna, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Shakira. So this was a pretty monumental achievement. Unfortunately, it was crashed by a man named Six, who jumped on stage, snatched the mic from Brendan Urie, and complained that MTV never gave him his own show. What's up, MTV? How y'all doing? My name is Six. MTV never gave me my own show, so I want everybody around the world to log on to MTV6000.com and give it up for these guys. The band took it in stride and made a few jokes, recovering easily enough. Throwing up my thunder. 2007, Tommy Lee and Kid Rock's Brawl, 24th MTV Video Music Awards. Rivalries between celebrities are not uncommon, especially at award shows, but rarely does it escalate to physical violence. At the 2007 VMAs, there was lingering tension between Pamela Anderson's ex-husbands, Motley Crue's drummer Tommy Lee, and Kid Rock. There are conflicting reports over whether Pamela Anderson was the source for conflict, but we do know that Kid Rock threw the first punch. Although there is a good chance Tommy Lee said something to spur him on. The real victim here has to be Alicia Keys, who was just trying to deliver a good performance. How she kept it up while a full-fledged fistfight was going on is beyond us. 2008, Britney's comeback year, 25th MTV Video Music Awards. It's definitely not a secret that 2007 was a rough year for Britney. Her performance at the VMAs that year showed as much, but luckily, it didn't take very long for her to bounce back. By the time the 2008 VMAs rolled around, you wouldn't even have known. She won her very first VMA after previously being nominated for years without a win. 
And not only did she earn her first Moon Man that night, but she also won all three of her nominations for Best Female Video, Best Pop Video, and Video of the Year. She was also the celebrity who took home the most awards that night. No one does comebacks quite like Britney Spears. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 2009 Kanye Gate 26th MTV Video Music Awards If you thought Panic at the Disco's interruption was bad, Taylor Swift's is definitely worse. This might be the biggest moment in VMA history, never mind just 2009. Taylor was only 19 at the time and still very up and coming. And the Moon Man for Best Female Video goes to... Taylor Swift. She was so excited to win her first Moon Man, but the moment was ripped from her when Kanye West got on stage and stole the mic. In yet another one of his outbursts, Kanye declared that he was happy for Taylor, but the award should have gone to Beyonce. Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. T-Swift thought the crowd was booing her and returned the award, visibly overwhelmed. This moment even managed to overshadow Lady Gaga's paparazzi performance, which featured fake blood and a symbolic hanging. 2009 definitely wins for most memorable VMA. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.